Among the many violence prevention activities happening in the weeks ahead is a peace basketball game. And to bring us up to date are two of the people involved, the coordinator for the Peace Collaborative, Cindy Diggs, and the Boston president of the League of Women Voters, Pamela Julian. Thank you both very Thank much you. for being with us. Thank you. Cindy, talk about uh, the Peace Collaborative and, and how the beginning of this group led to this game that's coming up. Sure. So we join forces, um, all of the peace organizations in the city and a number of youth organizations and various churches, um, just to come together and work towards the same goal. So we actually formed back in September of last year and we put on our first uh, fundraising event which was 100 Slices, the uh, upscale bake sale, which was very cool. We had over a thousand desserts available um, that day and we raised a good amount of money towards the basketball tournament and then we had a follow-up fundraiser the Mardi Gras masquerade ball and that was really awesome we had two city councilors as the king and queen of Mardi Gras that was Tito Jackson and Ayanna Presley and um, we had the Massachusetts coalition to prevent gun violence they were involved so their uh, leaders were the king and queen and moms demand action um, she was the queen so it's been a lot of fun and just doing all of this to raise money t for all of us to put together one event together which doesn't ap often happen in, in the city of Boston people usually work separately so it was my idea to bring everybody that's doing similar work together to to form um, as an organization. Pamela Julian, the League of Women Voters is uh, well known for candidate forums, anything to get voters informed, interested and activated. So uh, uh, what's the bridge from that to the Peace Collaborative for you? Well, you know, the League of Women Voters of Boston is the oldest league in the nation. We were the radicals that chained ourselves to the White House fence um, to fight for the right to vote. And the League, um, which drew me to the League, is very interested in helping communities solve problems. So now that it surely has been identified by Mayor Walsh that violence is the number one priority public policy issue, in order to address the violence, uh, we are involved with the Massachusetts uh, Coalition to Prevent Gun Violence uh, Initiative, and also collaborating with Cindy because as Cindy says, peace is political. So trying to draw those connections, but then also providing opportunities for families to have events. Um, it really needs to be a line item in the budget. We had to have a bake sale, which was fun. We had a great time. Uh, we had a wonderful time in the Mardi Gras too, but you know, we're volunteers. We work very hard um, to just raise funds to put on a basketball tournament for people in the community. So we're hoping this provides a model for more events. Well, the, the obvious common denominator here is that so many of the peace groups are led by women. Mm -hmm. We've yeah. got men, though. We've got plenty of men. Uh, yeah, yeah. There are some good men out there, yes. <laughs> yeah. We actually um, have probably three men involved, which is, it's great that we have them involved, but we need a lot, a lot more involved. So we've been reaching out, um, particularly where we're working on a sports event, we really need their assistance. So. Um, that's one of the things that we're working on now so that they can see that we are pretty cool people to uh, put something like this together. So tell me about this basketball game. What do you have planned? So it's called the Got Peace Basketball Tournament and it originated um, quite a few years ago actually um, at Dorchester High School. We had the class of 2011 hosted the Peace Boston um, Basketball Tournaments where they played against recording artists and the school police. So, um, and then some years later, back in 2011, we met a group of young men called Royalty that wanted to get involved in the peace movement, so they asked us to do it through sports. So we uh, raised money for the tournament then, but we haven't been able to uh, put it on again because of a lack of funding. And um, so they have been waiting for their rematch since 2011, so it's, the hype is definitely there. So they'll play against recording artists uh, for peace, the DJs for peace, the radio DJs for peace. But we also added a few more teams this year where we have um, She Got Game, which is adult women that will play against the Brighton High School Bengals. Um, that's their, their girl team, uh, Lady Bengals. And then we have the Timothy Middle School is going to play against um, some freshman boys. And 
It's going to be a really cool event. Ministers playing against the youth group from Cambridge Destiny Youth Ministry from the First Holiness Church. So it's awesome. And the Year Up program is also involved. They're playing against some people involved in politics, the pieces political team that we formed. So it's going to be a great day um, at Madison Park, which is this Saturday. Uh, May 3rd at 11 a.m. and it's going to be a great time for people to come with their families to come out and support. We also have a halftime show um, being hosted by a program called RAW which is revealing artistic works and they have a young man who won a citywide competition um, who has created a rap song um, about um, addressing the violence so he's going to perform that with some of the girls from the the raw program so it's pretty cool you know I imagine there are a lot of parents in the city who have kids um, they want to give them something good to do especially over the summer and keep them out of trouble. Uh, I guess if they came to an event like this, any chance that that could lead to any positive things? Oh, sure. We'll have a resource table with other people that do this work. We have a number of youth workers that are involved in the program, so they'll be there with information about their programs as well. And there may be some folks um, that have other basketball tournaments that are looking for players that will be there. Um, but that's what we're hoping to do by putting this on before the summer starts so that other people can emulate the work that we're doing. And what does an event like this do for, for your mission with the league? Well, actually, it speaks to the mission quite loudly because we are building community and addressing uh, policy initiatives, that, a very serious one that need to be addressed, and working in every way we can to be public about that um, by not only testifying if we need to, but actually participating. Um, we're participants. We have a team. I'm not on the team, and I'm not the coach, but I want to win. <laughs> so it's the whole spirit of building community and networking, and so that people can realize that peace is political. They need to connect the dots. That's what we're doing collaboratively, so people understand why voting matters, why you need to critically evaluate candidates. Will they represent you after the election to address the violence? And, and we have tremendous faith in uh, Mayor Walsh that he mm -hmm. will, in fact, do this. So coming together and creating these uh, relationships um, with the elected officials and people in the community and building community within the community. Um, so this event creates a model. And hopefully there'll be more. And Cindy, uh, one other event coming up uh, that could also do with some turnout on Mother's Day. Talk about that. Yes, that's the uh, 18th annual Louis G. Brown Peace Institute Mother's Day Walk for Peace. And we always have a large turnout for that. We had 10,000 people last year participate. And in order um, to find out information about that, just go online to Mother's Day Walk for the number four peace dot org and you'll be able to register a team or register yourself as a walker. We ask each um, individual walker to raise at least $100 to go towards their fundraising efforts. And um, it's a great time to celebrate the lives of people who we've lost and so celebrate the idea of peace together. And one more time, uh, the, the place and when that basketball game begins? It's this uh, Saturday at 11 a.m. at Madison Park Community Center, which is 55 Malcolm X Boulevard in Roxbury. Thank you both very much, Pamela Julian Thank and you. Cindy Diggs. Thank you. Thank you. Up ahead, the report from Alston Brighton with Rachel McCubbin.